Earthbed. Good day, learners! This is Earthpen. For today's topic, we're going to reveal some reasons why do we dream. We're so tired of the daily activities and had to go to the bedroom and lie in our bed. And then, we started to drift off. Suddenly, feel as if it were in a reality show or a movie. Our dreams. Why do we dream? Well, we're not really that advanced to know why we all dream. What scientists, for mostly brain scientists, explore the possibilities and the mysteries of how the best brains of our works at night. But for now, let's get it straight, learners. There are no definite reasons as to why we dream. One thing for sure is we all dream. However, there are some theories that were made. When we are sleeping, our whole body is resting except for the brain. The brain releases some chemicals throughout your body that helps you grow. That's the reason why we need to sleep a lot. Most of our dreams happen during our deepest and stronger sleep. This stage is called the REM, or the Rapid Eye Movement. In this stage, our eyes under our eyelids are turning around and moving faster. Creepy, right? Dreams are a way of processing and filing away all the sights, smells, sounds, taste, and events that we experience the entire day. We can say that our brain works out which parts to remember and which to forget. Sometimes, dreams can appear to reflect what's going on. For example, if you have a soccer game and are a bit worried and excited, you might dream about being a soccer ball itself rolling in the field. It's funny, right? But some of us dreams about monsters, ghosts, or terrible experiences. Yikes! These are nightmares that sometimes wake us up. And did you know that we dream of about 10 times per night and you wouldn't remember most of it? Crazy, right? Fun fact, learners! Did you know that sometimes we can control everything in our dream? Wow! This is called lucid dreaming. Everything is so clear and vivid and everything that we imagine happens. It's like a fantasy that we can control. Amazing! Some practice lucid dreaming. But sometimes it can also lead to sleep paralysis. So be careful if it's too real. Others think dreams are made of much more random collections of thoughts caused by the brain randomly firing us to sleep. According to Dr. Freud, dreams are imaginary of a wish or impulse from childhood that has been repressed. So learners, although dreams mean really nothing important to us, according to some scientists, it might be the key to what we really desire. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Earthpen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day!